Canola School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Alberta Canola Producers Commission, SAS Canola, and Manitoba Canola Girl. Welcome to Real Agriculture's Canola School series. I'm Kara Oosterhouse. In this episode, I talked to Tyler Wist, who is a field entomologist with Agriculture and Agri-Food Canada. Tyler and I talk at the Saskatoon Research Farm about how to scout for flea beetles, what they actually look like, as well as when is it considered too late to spray for them. Sure. Flea beetles are tiny beetles. They're about 2.5 millimeters in size, and they are canola ravagers. So they're a chewing insect. Once they get into your crop, you'll start seeing little shot hole damage on your plants. And so the real trouble with the flea beetles is they overwinter as adults. So as soon as the canola crop comes out of the ground, you've got adults who have been spending the winter and they're hungry and they're ready to get into your crop and start eating. So if you're not ready for them, you can lose your whole crop if you're not prepared for flea beetles. So then producers, what can they do before these flea beetles show up? Now, in the fall, you can start assessing your crop and you can look for the second generation of flea beetles. So if you're in an area where you've got a lot of flea beetle damage on your already established crop, and what you want to look for is damage to the leaves, damage to the pods. And these can actually have some economic uh, implications as well. But if you know you've got a big population of flea beetles, then you should always use something on your seeds, an insecticide treatment on your seeds for the following year. And so when it comes time to scout your fields, um, even if you've planted an insecticidal crop, the, uh, the insect still has to feed on it before it gets, gets uh, to take up that insecticide. And so you still want to scout your crop and the insecticidal seed treatment will last, it should last, as long as the flea beetles are feeding for. Okay, and what has your research found? Like what have you been basing your research on with flea beetles? So the research right now, we're looking at the newer hybrid varieties of canola and we're trying to establish if the uh, action threshold of 25% is still valid for these newer, more vigorous hybrid canolas. So that's part of the research. The other part is we're trying to see the effects of landscapes on flea beetle abundance and also on the abundance of the natural enemies of the flea beetles. And how big of a problem are flea beetles? Flea beetles are canola's number one pest here on the western Canadian prairies. They are public enemy number one for canola. So um, we're talking 300 million dollars worth of potential damage each year. And when do you see flea beetle damage typically? Can you see it later on in the season as well or you're typically seeing it around the season? You can see it later on in the season but you're really worried about it as soon as your crop emerges. So from your seedling stage all the way up to your four leaf stage is where you want to be scouting your crops and checking for your flea beetle damage. Okay, and can you actually see a flea beetle? You can see a flea beetle. Um, they're called flea beetles because they're small and they jump, but if you approach them carefully, they won't jump away. And so hopefully we'll get some video of some flea beetles here that we can show. So I've got a few diagrams here. Um, we're going to show them on the screen, but the diagram is going to show the percent cotyledon area eaten. So what you want to do is you want to try to estimate how much damage the flea beetle has done to each of the cotyledons, to each of the true leaves, and then take an estimate of all of those, take an average of the damage, and then you've got an average damage for that plant. So don't just do that once. Uh, flea beetles are going to move in from the edge of your field and they're going to come in from things like, like shelter belts, poplar bluffs, um, canola fields left over from last year. They like to overwinter in leaf litter. So you're going to see damage on the edges of your field, first of all, but on a nice, calm, hot day they're going to pick up and they're going to fly into all of your fields so you really want to scout throughout your field so i'd suggest using a pattern of a w so scout a few plants at one point of the w walk into another part of your field and try to follow a pattern that makes a w and scout in at least one two three four five spots in that w and count a few plants and see the damage at each of those areas and how often do you recommend producers are actually scouting 
You know, on a day like today, where it's nice and hot and warm, you can go from the action threshold of 25% damage to 50% damage in an afternoon. So it's important to continuously scout your crops during that phase when they're at their most susceptible. Okay. What, I guess, is the most, the biggest message you want to get out to producers about flea beetles? Hmm. I'd say watch your fields. Um, we're going to show a few images of canola that was not treated with an insecticide so we have unprotected canola seed and we'll show you the difference in damage between the uh, unprotected and the protected canola seed and just really understand what 25% looks like. It's not easy to try to figure it out but it will come with practice. Use diagrams, the Canola Council of Canada has a lot of diagrams on their website that will show you what damage to the cotyledons looks like at 25%, what damage to the first true leaves look like at 25% and yeah make yourself familiar with with flea beetle damage. One more thing too, so if you are scouting your crops and you're looking for flea beetle damage and your cotyledons are really damaged but your first true leaves are not taking any damage, it means that your seed treatment is working and there's probably no need for you to spray. So that means your flea beetle feeding has stopped in your field and once that damage has stopped accumulating then you should be good to go and no need to spray then if that happens. Is there a point where it's considered too late to spray? Definitely. After the four leaf stage, there's no point spraying. The plant will outgrow any damage that's occurring. So the trouble with flea beetle feeding is it will delay your, it'll delay your stand. And so it can slow things down and make it more susceptible to frost later on and um, make it more susceptible to not having your crop all at the same stage when you're ready to harvest. So it's important early on in the season to make sure that you're understanding what's going on with your flea beetle.